<sighs> Back to the van build. Consuming all of our time and energy aside from raising our first child, we left you off sharing how we plan on doing van life with a baby with our sweet stroller and car seat setup. But over the past two weeks, we've made solid progress on the van, starting with the kitchen cabinet and the bathroom walls. But to be honest, it's quite difficult vlogging and working on the van without specific projects like we did in previous episodes. Now we basically just work on any part of the van at any time just to keep the van moving forward. But at least the van is slowly starting to look like an actual camper. Haven't done much filming today, but we've been making pretty good progress. The kitchen cabinet is completely in, well, not completely by any means because we need the face frame, the drawers, and the cabinet door, so there's actually a lot of work to do there. But we started the shower, and I just got one wall in. I'm super stoked with how it turned out. I scribed really close to the wall, so the seam is, I'm very, very satisfied. Similar to what Frank did with the overhead compartment shelf of the driver and passenger seat. 10 pieces for it, 10 pieces. You just add tape and additional pieces of cardboard instead of like, trying to use a wheel or like some type of like peanut butter lid to scribe it. It's so much easier to just add cardboard to it and just tape it and build out that template, which is exactly what I'm gonna do for the rear side of the shower where our shower mixture is gonna go and our electrical area is gonna be. But I would definitely use that strategy if I could give one tip to anyone looking to scribe something, just add more plywood and use some tape, way easier. Whoa, Superman. Flying baby. Somebody doesn't want to sleep. As per usual, we got a good night sleeper, but not a good day sleeper. The guy literally sleeps like 10 to 11 hours every single night, so we are by all means blessed for that. But it would be nice if he could just nap a little bit longer than like 15 to 30 minute naps. Right? Then I'd miss all the fun. Then I'd miss all the fun. Here's a quick look of the kitchen cabinet. Starting from the rear side, it'll be drawers, then we'll have the sink, our fridge, more drawers, and then another cabinet on the left side. We're gonna have a propane stove that's gonna hang over the forward facing side in front of the slider door to give us more space. But lots more work to do. It's also Saturday and Taylor's parents tend to clean their rental unit every Saturday and then come over, so we're expecting them shortly. Look who it is. You guys just come over to get on the vlog now. It's not even to see us. You That's just why. you just want your screen time. That's it. Yo. 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 What's up? You notice what I got? Oh. oh. He brought you some. Oh, he did. Yes. Oh. And there's some for Frank, so he has, and there's some for you. There's a giant awesome. for five. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Oh, you brought your tape measure. I brought my tape measure. Uh oh, you know what that means. Yeah, <laughs> Taylor's mom asked this one of the most common questions about van life. Where are we going to poop? So we showed her the composting toilet we decided to go with, which is not the nature's head like our last van. Instead, we went with Ogo. Should be you go. You. That's not a bad idea. You go. A composting toilet that does have a fan, but it has some really sweet features and it's more functional from a seating perspective. One thing that you don't realize until you own a nature's head that it's really not practical on where you go your number ones and your number twos, but we'll get more into this toilet in the later episodes. But for now, if you are interested, we do have a coupon code with them to get $50 off, and that's MOTM underscore 50. I'll leave a link below. Oh, so it's not exactly the same as the one you had before. Oh no, no this, this is, is a different upgrade. one. Oh, nice. And if you have any difficult cuts, make sure you get yourself a Frank. This is Taylor's dad, and he's coming up with a solution for our awkward spot near the van sliding door that is just really tough to make. But he loves tinkering around with a lot of different pieces of wood to make it work. It is hot and humid again. What else is new? I'm going to be working on this wall today, scribing it out, and then hopefully getting the plumbing fixtures up, the shower head and the shower mixer, and then run the pecs down and then maybe get that wall in. Today, we had additional help from the grandparents on the build and with Wyatt, and we are super grateful for the help. It's been quite a challenge, if I haven't said it already. We got Dad behind the camera right now, being the videographer. So if you like his uh, filming tactics, let us know, because then we could hire him full time. With three hands on deck, Dad on the electrical. This tool is absolutely amazing. 
one bad thing about working out here is you don't hear the music in the radio in the garage, but it's all good. All right. Off to Taylor now. Taylor on the windowsills and me on the shower wall. It felt like we were making strides on this build. That was until... The last time you saw Dad in a video, it was pouring out. Well, we've been hoping for rain for months. <laughs> and I think we got it. We got it. And it is raining again. But the solution with having the van backed out right below the gutters is working flawlessly, I would say. It is straight nuking right now. And this technique is so much better than the tarp. We are forcing the mission! <laughs> I can't believe we did the tarp idea before. I can't believe. I think you just needed an excuse to uh, tinker. Tinker last time. Well, it's been a few days since we picked up the camera, and we're making some pretty good progress. We have the face frames on all of the uppers, and on the kitchen cabinet now. And we did more of the plumbing. It's time to test the water today, and hopefully test out the shower connections to make sure everything is good to go and then we can finally seal that wall up because we can't build the walls until we know there's no leaks near the shower mixer and the shower head. This tank has been installed about six months ago. It's from Northwestern Conversions or Northwest Conversions out of Washington and they have the wheel well tank. It's really nice, really compact and maximizes your space. So let's see if this thing has any leaks. Okay, hey, here goes nothing. Okay. This boy hasn't taken one nap uh -huh. all day unless mommy's holding him. He looks like he's looking at the camera. Not one nap. What is it with you? You don't believe in naps? Naps are for babies? Well, Wyatt went down for a nap, so he quickly pivoted to working on the butcher block since it requires two people and we have to take advantage of every single opportunity we get. Now for the fun stuff. You guys like my uh, earplugs? Hope <laughs> they look good. All right, our undermount sink and our stove top. Just kidding, we're mounting it over top. Stove. That looks perfect. This much prep space only. This is probably similar to our old van. Solid, I think. You were right. I might pick the peppers too early. Got you admitting that you picked the peppers too early. What do you have to say for yourself? They were still tasty. <laughs> we ate one last night in our salad. But they're huge now. Van building. <laughs> That's how I feel about it at this point. Yeah, seriously. We're over it. Our summer's been a bust. The worst summer since 2019. Last time we built a van. Oh yeah. All right. We got ourselves a cutting board. I'm just kidding, we're not using this as a cutting board, but everybody recommended we use this as a cutting board. All right, look at that. That's pretty nice. Will oh. it fit? Bang. The tank isn't leaking which is great news. But I think it's time to pump the lines with water and see if we get any leaks. Now I do have the heating, the hot water lines ran for recirculation. So I'll have a recirculation pump that's not in place yet, but I do have the lines for it, which just leads to a ball valve that's turned off. And then I have a re uh, check valve I'm hoping will work and not let any water in. Otherwise we're gonna have a big problem. So uh, I think it's time to pump the system. Let's see what happens here. Okay, the pump stopped pumping, which is great. If it was a continuous pump, that would mean there is a leak somewhere and it would constantly have the need to fill the pressure. And I have a major leak right now, which is really bad right on the heat transfer plate. Place where I really wasn't expecting it. I uh, released pressure in the shower. I'm still getting a slow leak here. Really not where I was hoping to get a leak. This is a tight area. A lot of components here, so I need to figure this one out. The fitting, the brass fitting had pipe dope on it. Multi-purpose. I switched to the blue monster 
pipe thread tape. Hoping that'll do the trick. I did add some putty or pipe dope onto the tape as well, so I'm getting double the protection hopefully. We'll see if this pipe thread tape does the trick. Well, the plumbing diagnosis is gonna have to wait. This little guy needs a bath. Peed right through his onesie. He'd be doing that. Okay, fittings are back on. We got the pipe tape and the pipe dope on it. Time to turn on the water pump, put that pressure in, and let's see what happens here. Pressure's filling up. Don't see any leaks this time from the heat exchanger, which is great. I'm really surprised I don't see any leaks from the nylon braided tubing. Usually you get them through the, uh, the hose clamps, the like screw clamps. But this looks good now. I'm gonna test just the hot and then just the cold, see how that does. Found another leak, so I just ran the shower for a good like 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and I guess the vibrations from the water pump and the accumulator created a small leak, like a dripping leak right next to the accumulator, which is a braided hose, so I'll have to tighten that down and hopefully that will seal up. So make sure you run for a continuous amount of time. Let that let that water pump run. Let those vibrations happen. And tighten down wherever you need to tighten down. So I didn't get that shower wall in yesterday, but that's the plan for today. <laughs> oh Perfect. my god. At least something can go right. You hear that folks? That's the sound of van building is over for at least one of us hello thankfully today is saturday hello. so we have reinforcements with the grandparents they lend us a hand okay. yeah it's nice thank you got it how many pieces of wood was that nine pieces and then the three that, which had to add to the van made it 12 pieces of wood that little and it's <laughs> it's i think it's about 12 inches length by four and a half inches wide yeah. <laughs> and six hours later <laughs> <laughs> yeah seriously <laughs> but it's done and, and that was a time consuming one yeah yeah that lots, was, lots of thinking that was that one was fun though that one was more fun than the other stuff so far time to get careful this is a relatively easy install, especially if you've seen our ladder install video. It's basically the same exact process, and now we're able to attach our surfboards to the side of the van instead of having to worry about them inside or on the roof blocking our solar panels. Pretty nice. Well, we're getting a little barbaric today. No clothes for me. I'm trying to get some color. No contacts. I can't really see that well today. <laughs> Headband. Headband on. We gotta make progress. Yeah. Can't be spending time putting clothes on today. I'm gonna finish Wyatt's window hopefully before he wakes up. Well, hello from the shower. One, two. Three walls are in. I need to make a little like three inch wall right here for the light switch. But so far so good. I'm gonna cut the ceiling, get this in. Well not get it in, we're gonna poly it. We're using cedar planks. But it's coming along. Loving it. So I complained about height a lot before and these cedar planks are only about a quarter inch thick versus the ship lap, which is 5 eighths of an inch thick. We were gonna do FRP, that's what we did in our last van, but it doesn't really look as good, which is thinner than this, but I'm super happy with this. This is really nice. Well, you could say it's been an eventful day. Emotions were flying high. Real high. Why it was a little tough today. But we did get work done. It's just, we couldn't be working on it together for like not even an hour which makes things difficult. But, look at this beauty. Shower wall with the switch. Light's not in yet, I need to order it. We got the plywood on all 
four walls now. So it's ready for Red Guard. We're getting the Lowe's version of Red Guard though. And we'll clean this up, get it waterproof, and then we will put on our Palisade tiles. I think we got that idea from Sarah and Alex. They use that in their vans. Sarah and Alex James, I'm pretty sure. If you're in the van space, you've probably seen their vans. A lot of the vans are heavily influenced by their original design. Look at our cool compartment. Pretty sweet. We are resorting to flashlights outside the van to finish painting. Do yourself a favor. And insulate the door. Insulate the door before you install your kitchen cabinet. This is the second time we did that mistake. Two vans in a row. And maybe paint your cabinetry before you... I said I wanted to in. paint the cabinetry before. Yeah, but then you said, just get it in. What is she getting herself into at... What time is it? 9.49. 9.49? What is she doing? Will you help me pour this in here? It's very heavy, so I'll be the pourer. You just have to get the rest off the rim. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is some thick stuff. So this is the... Lowe's alternative to Red Guard waterproofing your shower. Can I see it, Tail? What is it called? Aqua Defense. Coming at you. Aqua also Defense. Blue Guard. Blue Guard, nice. So, yeah, we're just going to roll it on. Yeah, and use paintbrush uh, for the corners, it says. So. Use paintbrush for the corners, it says. So, yeah. So, yeah. Almost midnight. Good work. Yeah. Looks good. How's my hair look? Fabulous. I feel like you're lying. Yeah. Mm -hmm.